Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech It Out with Mio X Fu. And you know, I feel if we had if I had a much more impressive workshop at this point, it would be well, a much more impressive intro because I try to show the workshop as I say, tech it out every time, but um, also, you might notice that uh, I have a new texture pack. This is actually the one that I've been using for Odd Quad. Uh, it's based around co Coterie Craft, but as you can see, if I go out and look at this beautiful burning sun, oh my eyes, they're burning. Um, there are a few custom modifications I've added. Um, unfortunately, that means I cannot link you guys the the texture pack I'm using. I can, however, link you the Coterie Craft uh, texture pack, which, I mean, I think it looks pretty nice. I mean, it doesn't change, like, the basic dirt or, st or, or stone or anything like that, but those textures, honestly, I don't think so. I think those are the regular ones. Um, honestly, a lot of the textures already look fine. It's mostly, like, the wood and stone and cobblestone I have a problem with. Um, a few more other things. Um, you'll see that now, most importantly, I have no—I now have sheep. So that is that is nice. I have a nice, nice little pen for them. Um, actually, let's let's—we're gonna make a few extra little sheep. I uh, dyed them a little with lapis and some lapis and bone meal to make the light blue one. Oh my god! You guys are so derpy. Um. So yeah, they'll they'll be fine how they are. All right, get away, get away. You guys aren't getting out. That's why I have this airlock system for uh, my fence gates, basically. I don't know why other pe more people don't use this. Oh well. Anyway, nothing else that's important over here. We're gonna move on. I've expanded a little bit on the wheat farm. This is just stuff that I've been doing on my own. Um, that I thought was a little too boring to actually record, but I still need to do it. Um, as you can see, uh, let's see if I can get this up now that they've changed uh, wood slabs so that they actually break with a brick. Um, I'm using a standard two row, one row of water, two row, two row, one row of water farm style, and I'm putting half slabs, or yeah, wooden slabs over the water so that I can just walk around instead of worrying that I'm going to jump on anything. And we'll probably revisit the farm later because I want to... There's a little thing called a transposer uh, that will pick up anything in front of it, and I think it's called a block breaker. Maybe there's a space. It's a block breaker which will break any block in front of them. and. Unfortunately, Tekkit used to have something uh, called the Forestry Mod- Oh, don't know why that's happening with my shaped craft crafting. But um, Tekkit used to have something called the Forestry Mods installed, and I don't know why they've been taken out, but there was a lot of cool things with that, making automatic farms and stuff. I guess people just weren't using them, and the person who made the mods just decided, oh, I don't want to be part of this anymore. So, unfortunately, that's no longer in Tekkit, but... Red Power still allows us to make sort of automatic farms. I mean, they're not as cool, but we'll probably do that at a later date. Right now, I'm not so concerned. That's really back burner thing. Like, really, power is the main concern right now. Nope. Oh. Close. Okay, there we go. For some reason, it wasn't uh, updating when I right-clicked on it. You also know, notice that, well, I have a different skin. I decided to go for more of a, uh, I look more like an accountant with those armbands. I decided to go for more of a low-tech engineer look, or, um, low-tech scientist look, uh, to, just because, you know, I feel like I really should earn my ho and kioma mad scientist son of a beach, uh, lab coat. Um, I've also put some walls on the basement, and we're gonna be going down that way and actually using these 16 ladders or so. <laughs> and I've also started on the foundations of a passageway to our little magma pumping station. So, 
Uh, before we go and finish our magma pumping station, I've also added glass to uh, the roof. This is the one of the reasons I really like Coterie Craft, just because the glass looks so nice. I mean, the glass looks fantastic. It's it's almost... Look at this. Look at the doors. See-through glass. This looks like just a glass wall, which is what I'm looking for. So, yeah, that's 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 really the reason I like Coterie Craft. Uh, that and that the cobblestone doesn't look like shit. <laughs> That's that's really the only thing I look for when I'm looking at texture packs, what the cobblestone looks like. I guess I also look uh, to see what the ores look like, make sure that it doesn't just look dumb, but stale. Alright, so, a uh, couple things before we get going. Oh, 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 you'll notice that my sapphire pickaxe is dangerously low. It's only got EMC 92 compared to an almost full one, has almost 3000 EMC. Well, I figured out how to use covalence dust to actually repair things. And we will make a uh, repair talisman at some point. Uh, again, right now it's not at the top of my to-do list, just because we've got quite a bunch of co covalence dust le left over. Actually, I wonder if this works with wrenches? No, unfortunately. It's equivalent exchange, uh, and the wrench, I believe, is red power. Or industrial craft, but basically, put three co medium covalence dust and sapphire pickaxe. Uh, use the low covalence dust for, I believe, for wood and stone, medium for iron and gem, and then the high for diamond. Anyway, that completely repairs our pickaxe and our axe, so that is freaking fantastic. I'm not going to use it a lot because, I mean, sapphires are still really easy to come by and stuff like that, but we are getting a little bit low on gems. Uh, but that is not all that we will be doing here. What we are making today is a diamond drill. Basically, well, I'll, I'll show you as we get, get along, but basically we need three diamonds and a drill, and for that we need an electronic circuit, an RE battery, and refined iron. Alright, so we need one, two, three, four, five refined iron. We'll need an RE battery, so that's four. Two of those need an electronic circuit, which is one refined iron, uh, two redstone, and then we'll need a bunch of wires. So I'm just going to take the copper cables because it's easier than figuring out how many we need right now. Did I actually look at that right? Yes, yeah, so okay, we only need uh, the one. The one, uh, what you call it, um, we only need the one RE battery, that's what I wanted to make sure. And for this, see when I started out Tech It, I'm like, how am I ever going to remember half of these recipes? But it's actually a lot easier once you just start building stuff, and I believe it was this. Alright, it must be the other way. Yes, and there we have a mining drill. And what a mining drill does is that it can basically... It, you'll see that it's completely drained right now. Basically, a mining drill does not have durability. Instead, it uses power. And I'll show that to you once we actually get a real diamond drill, because a diamond drill is pretty much the only drill you ever need. Um, there we go. But basically, that's the reason I also built the bat pack, because, well, as you'll see... The diamond drill, we just get out of there. Wait a minute, why is it not? Why are you not charging? Alright, we might have to throw this into the bat box for a few seconds. Let's just. There we go. Hmm. Are you good? You're good. Right. I think you can use the bat, the bat pack somehow. Not really sure how it works. Oh, okay. You put it on your uh, your chest. Um, actually, I'm wondering if we should build some armor. Nah, we'll be fine. But basically, with a diamond drill, you can basically just whoa. Why am I? Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop that! Stop that! That was weird. 
<laughs> Basically, my key's just stuck for a second. Basically, uh, for a diamond drill, it breaks any block in, I believe, one hit. Oh, close to one hit. But instead of using um, durability in order to tell how hard or tell how much how many uses it has left, instead it uses electrical power, which is pretty nice because a diamond drill has everything that a a uh, regular diamond pick has, and we don't have to worry about it ever going bad. As long as we have the bat pack with us, we'll pretty much be set. Uh, I mean, the bat pack has like what? I don't remember how much power, but it was something really ridiculously high, so I'm not really worried about us running out of power anytime soon. Alright, here we go. Dug down to the first part of our mine. Very nice. Alright, we might as well start making... Yeah, see, I just like the look of cobblestone in this texture pack. We might as well start making um, more ladders as well, so before we go down any further, I'm just gonna take a quick nip up. And I don't really have the time or patience to make any of your crappy ladders so I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna what do you call it when you when you make something out of nothing I'm, I'm just gonna you know condense some we got a couple spider eyes we'll never use those some rotten flesh never gonna use those some feathers never gonna use those string there's just so much in tech it that we're never gonna use so there's no reason to just hang on to it oh so much in vanilla minecraft that's in tech it that we're never gonna use. I mean, what use do I have for spider eyes when I can do all sorts of crazy shit that you'll see later? None. That's what I have. None. No use for it. Oh, I forgot. We need to make an action. We actually need to make a ladder in order that we can condense some. I mean, ladders are pretty cheap as well. I mean, look. 18 right there. Two more. Oh my god, look at this. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna leave one, and we'll take the rest. That should get us pretty deep. Ooh, I almost forgot. Um, We're gonna take the divining rod. Because we will need to get more diamonds at some point. Uh, well, we don't need to get more diamonds, it's just easier if we do. Uh, rather than just, you know, constantly condensing them. Just because, you know, diamonds are not terribly hard to find. I mean, I'm, I'm really bad at finding them, but, you know, they're findable. And they're still, they are these, as of the newer Tekkets, uh, Tekkit version 3, they are the second most valuable material, so we're going to be condensing quite a few diamonds just to get other materials as well. I mean, if, you, if we could find the mother load of Tekkit, or not Tekkit, we could find the mother load of Tekkit. <laughs> I'm dumb. Uh, if we could find the mother load of Tungsten, that would be the best thing, but I don't think we're going to, because te uh, Tungsten's pretty hard to find. I mean, that last few episodes ago, that was the first time I ever saw Tungsten, so I'm not holding my breath. See, look at this. We'd, you'd expect, uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Why am, why am I uh, why am I digging to get myself out when I have ladders? I see gemstones, and those are worth uh, not a lot, but they're worth, they're pretty decent in terms of uh, EMC, and they're fairly plentiful, and we can make more tools out of them. So might as well grab them while we're here. All right, we gotta patch up this hole just so that when we're going around some other time, we don't start falling down. Um, you know, I, I can just get rid of my pickaxe right now. Well, I won't, because if we run out of power, it's nice to have just a backup, but... Grab some copper. Basis basically, this is going to be a run down, downstairs, down into the bowels of the earth to steal some more minerals for our extremely... Com Consumptio con consumptio consumptive um, activities. Consuming. 
all this material. Just going, blowing right through it. Uh, I might as well keep digging a hole. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Does any... <laughs> oh man, I love Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. And that's always the line that I remember it. L remember from it. Uh, just Ed going, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh, hello, skeleton. I will take some of your bone meal. Well, some of your bones that I can turn into bone meal. Because uh, that will be pretty useful for making more rubber trees. I'm kind of running out on rubber, so we're going to have to get some more soon. More tin, always useful. More copper, always useful. I mean, we could use so many copper cables. I mean, we're probably not going to use many of those gold cables that I made. There was no reason for me to make so many, so many of them. And I think I figured out why uh, they were not working with the solar panel. Because solar panels only generate about one EU per cycle. And gold cables lose one EU about every three blocks or so. So if you're pumping like, through 32 EU or something like that, it's no big deal. That's why we have no problem pumping the uh, energy from one of the bat boxes using the gold cable. But just pumping it with... Um, Pumping it with gold cable is not the best idea over a long distance. But I didn't realize that. I mean, I had no idea what really was the difference between gold or copper cable. Uh, apparently, using copper cable would have been the better idea in that case. Like, I would have known. Um, but I'm glad we used glass fiber cable after all, because we're gonna we're gonna have to upgrade eventually anyway, so we might as well have done it now uh, then. Might as well have done it now. <laughs> Oh, wow. Can I put my foot in my mouth anymore? Alright. This is actually a nice part of the cave, too. Alright, I'm gonna move the drill over, because I keep mistaking it for the pickaxe. Look at it, Look at that. We, we've barely gone through any of our bat pack, and we still have, uh, we still have full charge on our drill, too, to go through once we get out of- run out of that. So... Ooh, we're running low on health, so, um, let's make some... Well, let's make a... Glad I brought some wheat with me. Let's make a crafting bench. Just toss it down here. Might as well. We can always use a crafting bench wherever we go. I'm actually gonna go back to the ladder and toss it over there. Uh, wherever I left that ladder. No, it's not up there. Where are you? I could have sworn it was, like, right around here. Oh boy. Got turned around, I guess. Thought it was... No. No! <laughs> that was, like, right over... Oh, there it is. Of course, because I didn't finish it. I'm a dumb... Anyway, I'm gonna put the crafting bench, uh, I guess, right here. Because, like I just said, we can always use a crafting bench wherever we go. Take some bread. It's not the most useful food item, but it's not like we have anything else to eat. I wish we could get meat from sheep, but... Maybe we should go out and find cows or something. Maybe they would have... Uh, well, we could get armor and food from them, so that would be useful. I mean, there's nothing else. Nothing else we could ever use, so... Maybe pigs, but I haven't seen any pigs. I don't know what else we'll do. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Maybe she'll die. <laughs> it's mine. Alright. Anyway. I think I'm gonna see you guys next time. On Tech It Out with Miox Fu. And we'll continue go Oh! Oh my god, uranium. Right out under my feet. I will take that, thank you very much. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep going down into these caves, getting some more basic materials to fill up our reserves. I know I still have quite a bit of Nicolite left over that I could always condense, but I don't wanna... I don't wanna just get rid of that all right now. I mean, it, I know it's got a pretty decent... what you call it, a pretty decent uh, EMC value, but... 
Eh. Eh. We can always use more. We can always use more materials, which we're gonna need anyway, so. Might as well get some. Alright, see you guys next time. Take it easy.